In this video, I'm going to explain how to divide monomials. Our first rule is the quotient of a power. And the quotient of power says that for any number a, where a does not equal zero, and integers m and n, a to the m over a to the n equals a to the m minus n. Let's take a look at this. Say that I give you x to the fourth over x squared. Well, from the formula, that's going to be x to the 4 minus 2, which should be just x squared. But looking at this visually, x to the fourth is x times x times x times x, x four times, all over x squared, which is x times x. And remember, we can cancel these terms out, so this first x cancels out with this x, this x cancels out with that x, and we're left with two x's, or x squared, which is x to the four minus two. So, if I was to give you x to the eight over x to the fifth, you would just do x to the eight minus five, which would be x to the third. Let's look at four x to the sixth, y to the third, all over two x squared, y squared. So we can break this up. So we're gonna have four over two, breaking it up into like terms, so our numbers first, times x to the sixth over x squared. So those variables have the same base, times y to the third, over y squared, because these variables also have the same base, which is y. And we can simplify this. 4 divided by 2 is just 2. x to the 6th over x squared is going to be x to the 6th minus 2. And y to the 3rd over y squared is y to the 3 minus 2. That's going to give us 2 times x to the 4, because 6 minus 2 is 4, times y to the 3 minus 2, which is just 1, so just y. So 2 times x to the 4th y. Let's look at power of a quotient. For any numbers, a and b, where b does not equal 0, and the integer m, a over b, that term to the m, is equal to a to the m over b to the m. If I was to give you x over y to the third, that would simply be x to the third over y to the third. 3y to the fifth over x squared. So like up here, the 3 got distributed to the top term, and it got distributed to the bottom term. This 2 is going to get distributed to this top term and this bottom term. So we're going to have 3y to the 5th squared all over x squared. Based on our previous properties, we know that this 2 is going to get distributed in. So this is going to be 3 squared times y to the 5th squared, all over x squared. 3 squared is 9. y to the 5th to the 2nd is going to be y to the 5 times 2. all over x squared, which will give us 9y to the 10th all over x squared. The rule with negative exponents is that for any number a, 
where a isn't equal to zero, and any integer m, a to the negative m is going to be equal to one over a to the positive m. So if I was to give you x to the negative three, that would really be one over x cubed, or x to the positive three. Looking at this example, I'm going to give you two to the third times x to the negative two times y to the negative fourth all over z to the negative two. So we're gonna break these up into individual terms where the variables are related. So our first term is two to the third. So this is really two to the third over one because it's on the numerator. That's gonna be multiplied by, let's do the x next, x to the negative two all over one. That's gonna be multiplied to y to the negative four all over one. And last but not least, the z, which is on the bottom, so it's gonna be one over z to the negative two. Two to the third over one is really two times two times two, which is eight over one. X to the negative two, flipping that is really gonna be one over x to the positive two. Y to the negative four, Again, it's a negative exponent, so we move it to the bottom of the fraction. So that's going to be one over y to the fourth. And for z, it's a negative exponent on the bottom, so that's gonna get moved to the top. So now that's gonna be z squared over one. So the exponent changes to positive, and the z gets moved to the top. Multiplying all this out, for our numerator, we're gonna have eight times one times one times z squared, which is just eight z squared. For the bottom, we have one times x squared times y to the fourth times one, which is just x squared y to the fourth. And that would be our answer when dividing this monomial. There is one more key rule to remember, that for a zero exponent, any number a that's not equal to zero, if you raise it to the zero, it's going to equal one. So if I have the number 5,623 and I raise that to the zero, that answer is just gonna be one. Three x to the sixth, y to the 25th, all over x to the negative three, z to the fifth, and I have all this to the zero, that also is just going to be one.